Yo, what is good, my anime people? Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer definitely has a huge amount of stuff it's building up, not only just in this one week's episode, but seemingly characters were dying for reasons, and we also get a really good idea of how powerful some characters are. For instance, the Black Crow and how far he can push himself. But at the end of the day, it still feels like we're still in a mixture area where people still don't really know what they're going to not just become, but what they're getting themselves into. Being summoned here by the princess, only we don't know much about the owl and we don't know much about the ra uh, rat. Oh, me. And we don't know much about the turtle. Uh, but what we do know is the... Is it the turtle? No, the mantis and the rat. We know the turtle and the rooster both witnessed the swordfish fight and die to protect them. And they supposedly took care of the rest. Like, I don't even think the swordfish won the fight if... They are getting the credit of taking down a golem because they said they didn't do it by themselves. So it ultimately leads me to the point of there's so much inexperience throughout the whole entire team and such young blood that it's not going to be hard for them to kind of be psychologically attacked in a sense, right? Uh, especially the person that we see, I think, at Atomus or something along those lines. He seems nuts, and it made a lot more sense why one of the golems was just outright running the whole time and doing what he was doing, because clearly it was up to something, and I don't know why they didn't go out of their way to make sure they tracked it. Why would something that loves to attack their people all of a sudden change its tactics and not attack it? And to be fair, I think if they would have cracked him open... They would have found that dude, the mage in there, and things may have ended even worse for them, so. I really don't know what they're trying to set up for the golems, but he did say they're going to get stronger, they're going to get crazier because they're at the mid-stretch. He's practically breaking the fourth wall, telling us exactly where the episodes are right now, and about where they should be in the episodes, right? Uh, almost as if this is an anime he's watching and now he just joined it to become the true boss for people that didn't know or the truth the knights that didn't know about him so honestly this show is getting slept on and it's unfortunate that it doesn't have the quality people really want and even on a budget this anime still is ridiculously entertaining and not only that, the main character going from, you know, zero to hero thanks to another hero was kind of an easy way to push him. But it makes you really think if the whole I'll be waiting for you and like to block his path is still uh, going to happen, right? Like in, a, in the dream world, that still might happen. And uh, that might be actually where he saw it happening. And he just didn't understand at the time what was going to happen so it's crazy to think that he got these abilities and he could finally shed a tear knowing that even uh after passing away his one wish was to still save somebody else that that type of stuff hits and i'm telling you the story and the characters are getting really good even though my favorite character is gone there's still a potential for a lot of these characters to do some amazing stuff but I hope you all have an amazing one. I will definitely talk to you all in the next one. Thank you for getting this far. If you did, like, subscribe. It helps the channel out tremendously. And with that being said, if you have anything to say in the comments that I didn't go over, I would love to talk to you about it. Take care and peace.